we go back in history, on July the 2nd, 1862, we were in the middle of a civil war, our darkest hour as a nation, and yet we had a group of very inspired elected officials who rather than being constrained by the circumstances of the time, decided to envision a better and brighter future by educating the sons and daughters of the working families of America. There were three very important congressional acts. The Railroad Act, the Homestead Act, and the Morrill Act. The first two allowed us to gain in terms of geographical mobility. But it was the Morrill Act that allowed us to make specific gains in terms of social mobility and therefore strengthening American democracy. Justin Morrill was aiming in the Land Grant Act to open up higher education to uh, the great democratic mass of American citizenry. The Morrill Act was the first GI Bill. It was the first major opening in this country to higher education for the average person. It is the opportunity for students to come to a world-class series of institutions dedicated and committed to access and affordability, having the highest educational product imaginable at the most reasonable price. And that is what we do and do exceedingly well. It was designed uh, to not only foster the values of liberal education, but also the agricultural and mechanic arts, and to extend that education out to the public. Kentucky State University had a 16-year-old student this summer who won the National 4-H Award. She was in one of our summer um, science programs associated with our land-grant institution. She did a program and a project on obesity. She had Tourette syndrome and it helped her overcome her Tourette syndrome and control it. And she did a wonderful program for her community and her family and herself. And we we're proud of her. It would not have happened if K-State had not been a land-grant institution. As far as agriculture itself and the contribution made, the citrus industry, of course, is huge in the state of Florida. And all of the support for that industry comes directly from uh, the Agricultural Extension Program at the university. One specific faculty member comes to mind. His name is Trevor Douglas. Trevor is a wonderful chemist. He always received consistent high valuations in his teaching, but he's also a superb researcher. And in addition to that, on Saturdays, rather than spending time resting, Trevor goes around the state of Montana to remote locations, tribal communities, our rural towns, and allows kids to start experiencing the wonders of scientific research in a program that he calls Science Saturdays. Uh, recently we had a wonderful win with a company called Angel Learning. One of our faculty developed his second piece of software that helped online learning. It created a company. Uh, it was spun out. It created jobs, uh, nearly 150 jobs in our community. Uh, eventually it was sold to uh, Blackboard uh, for just under $100 million. And of course he's already on to another uh, invention. You know, when I think of the Morrill Act, I really think of the lifetime of educational opportunities that I've had. I'm a product of that, basically. Uh, my family goes back a long ways in Texas, ranchers and farmers. I'm the first in my family to go to college ever. And I was able to go to a land-grant institution, Texas A&M, because of not only the fact it was there, but because it welcomed me in so many ways. I'm a product of the Morrill Act. I'm a graduate of North Carolina State University with a master's and PhD, and my professional career uh, has benefited from land-grant universities.
The Morrill Act is very important to the University of Florida and I think to higher education today. As the other universities in our country begin to develop and evolve, there is an attempt by some legislative bodies to make it one size fits all and to make us all the same. In that process, they are forgetting the unique mission that the land-grant institutions have. We are statewide. We're in every county in the state of Florida. We give education and research support to all the citizens of our state. Today, it has an impact through a number of ways. The Morrill Act has actually been able to do much more than we probably first thought it could back in the 1800s. Uh, we not only have great programming in terms of education, and research, but also great extension now. Uh, the outreach we have in Texas is extraordinary. Every single county in the state, 254 counties, have a piece of us there. Well, I think without the Morrill Act, we would have uh, a, a really an elite educated population in the United States. We would not have the level of innovation and creativity that I think we that have been stimulated through public higher education uh, that has really helped advance our nation in significant ways. How much would have occurred without the Morrill Act? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think it would have been done the same way. I don't think we would be the envy of the world when it comes to discovery, learning, and engagement. The, the Morrill Act um, has a, a global influence. It begins locally and it extends nationally and then it has uh, international focus associated with our work. Now, as we look to the future with a world that is getting smaller and smaller and more complex in interrelationships, the Morrill Act can be played out on that international sphere in major ways, in generating knowledge and disseminating it and bringing those experiences together. The uh, future of public universities in the United States is absolutely essential to American competitiveness. Um, if you look at our contributions and, and competitive research dollars and the discoveries that have come out of public universities and their impact every day on the, the quality of life for Americans and our competitiveness in a global economy, I think it's, it's huge. The well-being of the nation depends upon the viability of public higher education and its being accessible and affordable to the people of the nation. One of the things I think about as a university president are the things that made our nation great and it was great investment in public institutions but I think the greatest investment was the investment made with the Morrill Act which survived, which created the opportunity for public research universities and basically catapulted the American university system to the best in the world. The concept of, of higher education from people from average family incomes is more relevant generation by generation. And I think we're entering an era when virtually everybody is going to have to have some kind of advanced technical or broad education. The Land Grant Act is, has been a significant contributor to the equality opportunity of this country. It would be an understatement to say that the Morrill Act did not have a significant influence on this nation as a whole. Regardless of class or race, everybody has an opportunity to have access to success in this country. And land grants institutions have done that. More than anybody else, any institution in this nation. Happy 150th anniversary.